All right, so I got a nice messy table, right? That's the way I usually work it anyway. You gotta work it that way. Oh, I gotta get this guy fixed. I think I got some periwinkle I could work with. I saw some, wait a minute, where was that? Ah, oh, darn. I'll get back to that, I guess. Now. Let's work this over. This is a piece of glass that... Well, I'm going to throw something. Of course, we're going to put it in the water. Let's try something. It's a little foggy. Hello. Glad to see somebody. I don't know what happened. Hello. Good to see people out there. Sorry, I'm wiping the, the lens off. It looked a little foggy. It helped somewhat. So, let's get to going. I'm going to... Uh, this is some exotic glass here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, encase it and see what we can do with it later. Hey, Michael. And by encasing it, what I'm going to do is take some and put it to a... Because my fingers aren't that good at holding that, that short a piece. And there we go. And we're going to layer it on. This looks good enough. Good morning, all. Hi, Sean. Uh, do it. No, let's not. Let's not say we did. Let's do. This will work. And what I'm going to do is just layer this on. Let's kick it up a notch or two. And hopefully, I'll have enough to round it all the way around, but I think so. I just a matter of making sure. That'll work. This is an encasing that I'm going to do. Encasement. I usually layer it on on a clear rod. 8 mil or 10 mil, whichever I have around. And then layer the clear, the, the color over that. And then turn around and layer another layer of clear over that. Why do I do that? It comes out with some really neat colors, for one. And for another, it just sort of gives you a unique... Matter of fact, I'll use this rod that I have in my hand here. There's two ways of doing it that I do, anyway. One of them is I heat it up and just layer. And that's what I'm going to do to this one. Hey Cheryl, glad to see you made it. Looks like we got a few people watching for once. That's a good thing too. I guess it's all when you come in here and get going, I guess. Yeah, that's it, that's a ticket. I'll layer it on all the way around. And then I'm gonna twist it and then pull it out into a rod. And you say, why twist it? Well, it gives it some very unique uh, swirls of color going on. What that, what I'm using is one of the exotic colors is what I call it. It has like silver or mainly silver probably in it. And that tends to um, be what they call a striking color. Or also when you work it, it comes out with a very shiny metallic but what I usually use it for is like this. Twisting like we did last summer. Twisting. Matter of fact, let's zoom in just slightly. Flip it up a little more. There we go. Bring that down so it's out of the way. There we go. And keep going. If you have any questions or comments or want to ask uh, 
want something made I'm in a mood to create today I have not been out here in a while I have no excuses but I'm here now good to see quite the, the uh, crowd now I'm going to go back to the beginning over here again and just pull this out into a a stringer or actually a very more of a rod it's not stringer is very thin but this is going to be a little bit more on the thicker side closer to five to six mil in thickness and in just a second i'll show you some of the color rods that i have done like this and look you can already see some of the color variations coming out in it blues greens just the way it works. Look at that. Hey, Babette. Haven't seen you in a while. Look at that. And you make uh, an animal or figurine out of something like that. And the, the striations will never be exactly the same again. And it becomes its own unique rod and it's a good way of like you what i would call making signature glass instead of taking something just off the shelf like this make it from something like this and then it's definitely something that isn't uh reprodu rep reproducible quickly and that's that one this one here used to be some amber purple let's see if i can let me tilt it this way a little bit of course it's there we go look at that that has some unique color bonds in it that's amber purple this is for like green exotics going on here and again you can make earrings just teardrop earrings out of that or dragons or uh, just anything and it comes out unique into itself and here's more of the blue exotic line same idea just a matter of putting it and also there's two ways of doing it that I do let me see if I can now this one is the same idea but instead of the way I layer it on well I do layer it on I, I'll do it I'll do it this time I, I'll I think this let's see here we go this is some of the stuff I got. It's called Spring Luster. One of the things that I got from the unboxing that I did on, on my YouTube channel. Um, from Nancy, I believe her name was. Anyway, I'm going to get a little thicker rod here. There we go. Now, instead of... I'm going to do about the same deal, about an inch, inch and a half, no more. Don't need more than that. Just to, to do, whoops, sorry guys. When you're doing your own cami work, cami work, camera, camera work. You just have to deal with it. Nobody said a word. Thanks a lot, guys. Hey, move the camera back. Luckily, I saw it. Now, if it's a strike color or one of the exotics, now this is what I usually do with it, and it usually comes out really, really. Um, and this is getting warm on my thinners. So guess what? We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and do this. And the worst part about it is, there's a piece of paper over here on this side that I got to get rid of.
That was the coolest thing about the uh, unboxing. 90 85 to 90% of all the rods that were in it were labeled. So if I wanted to get it again, saying, hey, I like the effects of this, this rod, all I have to do is just turn around and buy some more of that same color. There we go. All the way around. But instead of layering clear on it first and then twisting it, the way I got that last, let me show you, the way I got this design color going on, was um, now I twist it and then layer clear over it. Simple different to the step but basically the same idea back down to three I guess people were bored with it already all you got to do is ask hey make an elephant make a dog make an all uh, well make a frog or something and I'll make it you got a request I'm in that mood. I, I need to be creative. Get those juices up below and uh, need the. <laughs> Here we go. Now again, you see, before I layered the clear over it this time, I twisted it, and this will give you that um, pattern. It's pretty cool if you ask me. And if you do it right, you can even make it look like that uh, thing that you do with a cake. But now you just sort of heat and press it in. And I don't know if you can see that or not. But it rippled it in already. And you just do that all the way around again. Sort of gives you that cake pattern where um, you know you put the lines this way and then you go the line and that way and that way and that way and it cuts it back and forth. I know. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. That's okay. I do. <laughs> so, name out something you'd like to see done. And I need the inspiration to get up and get it, get her done. Again, each time I'm doing this, it's layering in there quite nicely. Almost all the way around. The flame is a little bit cold, but we'll get there. There we go. And one more little slide here. One more little. And you can tell when you've gone all the way around because the color of the glass changes. Right, right. Now. Now we're going to stretch that on, out into a rod. As it cools, we'll see the uh, 
color variations happening. I'll pick that back up after a little while and let you see. It might even come out a little bit different than what I expected, but it's going to do the job. Okay, here's that first one I did. Still warm. Came out more of a blue exotic, which is pretty cool. Okay. Nobody said, hey, let's make this or make that. So guess what? We're going to make... History. <laughs> Let's do a dragon. I always do good at making dragons. Can't complain about them. Could, but why? Okay, we're gonna use this. Dragons are my favorite out of all that I do. we got enough for the whole body there we go it's not going to be very big but it's going to be a dragon and I've got some nice red El red Elvis that I might or red something that I'll use for the um, for the wings and the claws and the, the bumps down its back That's my shark fin type thing going on. Hey, Robert. Now, depending on whether I make it long or short, is whether it's a dragon or a horse on this, at this point. If I made it longer, it's going to be a dragon. Okay. Now the front arms. After I finish this one, I'll take out some of the stuff that I've done in the oven from the other day and uh, show you. And again, if you have any questions, talk to me. I can see the I can see the my uh, in other words, I can see text that see if somebody asked me a question. Most of the, the piles of color here are from my unboxing that I did the other day on YouTube. It was a pretty good, yeah, it was a pretty good box. It, it, I felt like a kid at Christmas. Uh, there was a little bit of a disappointment. Um, there was supposed to be some diacroic glass in there that was Boro compatible, but it wasn't. Hi, Tanya. Com Boro compatible, that is. It is diacroic glass. Don't get me wrong there. Quick switch. And now a back half of this guy. Up. Do a little bit of an S curve back and forth for the tail. Just my gen. Um, my design when you get when you've done one you've done them all that way I guess <laughs> now I'll get back to that green rod I just had my hand you think I could find it did you go there no that's not it there it is got to see the back legs with this it's a nice color I usually do an L configuration for the back legs, as you can see, an L, touch it to, bring it down so far, let it cool a little bit, then bring it out 
as you can see most of the time I'm using at this size I'm using my just my center flame to do the job matter of fact I can take that thing off completely okay now we got this what is this this is red elvis like I thought it was yay uh-huh <laughs> Red Elvis. Reminds me of the time that Michael Jackson and Elvis' daughter were married. I had a joke going on. If they'd ever had a son, the, the baby would cry. Wah, wah. <laughs> uh -huh. Boy, is that, is that um, joke old, huh? Few years. Now I know that these the uh, the bumps look clear, but once they strike, they will turn back to this color here. Oops, that's not good. Let's relight this baby. Come on, guys. What's going on? Okay, where'd it go? There you are, Elvis. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, I'm going to do one more thing from this direction. I'll add the tail. And then from the other direction, I'll add the wings, the horn, and the claws. That's just the way I usually do it. Curl that back up again. There we go. Oh man. Came off before I wanted it to. Here we go. Got a punte here going. Pull this sucker off. Now, when I usually do a a dragon, I'll have a main color like you see the green there, and then I'll have the other color which I use, which is like the I'll use it for the eyes, the bumps like this, uh, the wings, and the horn, and the beard, which I'm going to put on now. And usually I put just two claws on my, that's just my signature. I could put more, and sometimes I do. I put three or four, depending upon what kind type of mood I'm in. Oops. Just designing it right. Again, if you have any questions, talk to me. It's not like I'm going to ignore you or tell you that's a stupid question. Well, I won't say that now because probably somebody come up with one. I'm going to do a little bit longer on that one. Then I'm going to add some wings to this thing. Yeah. And before I add the wings, I'm going to elongate this 
rod here it's a little bit too thick to do what I want it to do in the spots that I want to do it just a little bit almost enough for two wings almost right about there okay wing number one Pull it up, pull it over, pull it, pull it up, pull it over, pull it up, pull it over. to be a little bit longer than the other one I mean not a little bit longer than it is so it could be as long as the other one excuse me that's better closer now the two claws here okay any requests? Cats, mice, swans, bears, whales, snails, unicorns, dolphins. If you want to buy it, you can. You don't have to. I'm not saying, you know, I'm not committing you to buying it for $150. Something like this that I just did. I'd let go for $16 plus $4 for shipping. So, yeah, about $20. You know what I forgot to do? The eyes. You know, I'm going to do a different color red for the eyes I have this I think it's probably crayon or something but we'll deal with it there we go and now just sort of warm it out a little bit and see if we can't get the striking to happen oh yeah just a little bit of heat in the right direction and boom we got Elvis sorry let's tilt it that way a little so you can see what I'm doing uh -huh -huh. see there that it was all clear and now it's just a little bit of firing and temp it turns nice and red uh -huh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to do that. Uh huh. -huh. Okay. Pull it off here. Come on. Don't fall on me. There we go. Of course, it's gonna argue with or get stuck with. I tend to lean them a little bit to the right. I don't know if I'm making a political statement or not. <laughs> Let's try to... Yeah, that's better. Okay. Now! Let's deal with something. Okay, I'm going to try to get a little bit more of this again. Right here, in that little powdered area there, it looks like a little bit of a... Let me see if I can get a card to... Of course, when you want one. Business card, something. Another round. This will have to do. Well, that'll work. Why didn't I think of that? Uh, there we go. Let me 
making a little bit of a punch. Of course, I tried to do that, and it's not a straight edge. Let's do it with a flattened down straight edge. That might work it. There we go. I'm going to pull this off into a pile. This is kaonite, is what it's called. This is kaonite, uh, uh, crushed kaonite. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a end of a Maria. And then after this, I'm going to call it quits for a little bit. But I'll be back probably in another half hour or so. And we're going to keep doing this all day long. Uh huh. -huh. <laughs> Reason being is because I can. Now this is Kaonite and it is Boro compatible. I already played with it already uh, at one point. Turned out pretty, pretty cool. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, of course I got that stuck to the dragon I just did. Isn't that nice? Come on, off of there. Quit playing. Get out of the way. I'm going to have one spot of red in there. No one me. I'm going to make a Maria. And then press that Maria down into the Kaonite. And it's just a nice greenish, emerald greenish color. And it, I understand it comes in different colors. But this stuff I got is green. And here we go. We're not going to make it very big. We're just going to make a... A little pendant. Never heard of K and Ite until this lady sent me the unboxing. Look at that. I connected to it well. Let's get see if I can stick some more. Just a little bit. No. Okay. Now I'm going to put, let me think, green, no, black, yes, let's try a black, what, what is color is this, let's see if I can find a black, Here, here's one, that was, I think it was dark, oh, this is obsidian, which should be black, black, black as night. What I'm going to do is just layer color on the back of this. And of course where the rod is on this side is where you'll be, it will be the front of it once I cut the rod off. Again, if you're interested in any of my work, oh, I forgot. I will do that right after I finish this K and I pendant piece I will show you some of the stuff that I just that I have in the oven that I haven't pulled out and I've got some other stuff I can show you as well what I'm doing is just basically letting that melt in a little bit and pressing it down and then and then and then I'm going to take this And I'll melt it in up here. And this is going to be the, the uh, magnified surface of the front. It's getting there. Trying to let it flow in a little bit. That ought to work it. Nico, haven't seen you in a long, long while. Even though I can't see your smiling face, I know you're smiling. Is that scary or what? Sometimes I miss, I miss my days at Walmart, but 
only for the family. Guys like you. There we go. It almost looks like a diacroic sparkly glittery stuff going on. As you can see. I'm going to go ahead and put a... Uh, uh, just put a bale on the top of it. Hey, Kevin. Kevin O'Brien. The furniture you put outside is Petty O Furniture. I guess I should also try it just clear, you know, clear and encase it just to see what it would look like otherwise. But I do like the look of this. Okay, I'm going to make the bale on this one. I'm going to just put a nice big blob and then use my bale puncher or hole puncher. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. like a nice big blob and all I have to do is just take this thing and crunch it in the middle let it round in there we go and punch oops that came off before I wanted it to let's hold on to that Oh yeah, that's it. That's through. That's a good thing. Now to flare it out a little bit. And then use the tweezers to widen the hole. And with this, oh well, actually I will show you some of the stuff from the oven. And then I'm going to call it quits for a little while. And if you have a comment, a question, or if you want to see me make something in particular, and or if you say, "Hey, I want to make, I want an elephant in a five dollar, a twenty dollar range," I can do it, or ten dollar range, but figure about four dollars for shipping and handling, and I can get it to you and it's not going to be sight unseen i will show you the end result and if you like it buy it if you don't like it you don't have to buy it okay let that set and cool now let's see how the dragon turned out here we go pretty nice pretty nice and I got a fire polish where it touched that one spot on its claw. Okay, let's some of the stuff out of the oven. simple pieces here we go unicorn I mean a horse head pendant with a bill like I just did this dragon it has some nice silver fumed encasement in the body with blue on the one side and just silver on the other turned out really really nice and the eyes, I don't think we can see it. And of course it's not going to. But you can sort of see the iris of the eye there. Anyway, 
then we got ourselves a frog pendant with a nice little loop on it and this is a Moroni silver fumed you know any Mormons they love that stuff and last but not least a daddy bear and you can see that's not it that's not an illusion that is a skull impression in his back and it looks forward right cool well thanks for being out there guys as always carpe vitro and enjoy your day